let's not take TDS. Let's say DARPA project, which was yesterday, everybody was talking about. <coughs> the IP in DARPA is the US government IP. So there also, when funding is given by the government, the IP is taken. But usually the IP is not taken fully. What they say is, don't cheat us. They are basically saying that tomorrow if you want to charge twice, thrice for the same IP, that's not good. Charge a reasonable amount and we'll come to you. So, I think if we are asked to share an IP with DRDO or with MOD or somebody, I think we can be uh, okay. And credit sharing also has to happen. Probably most of the technical work has been done by us, but the papers moving, the support system has been given by MOD, so we can share the credit, but this is a problem. We should not be very touchy about it. Then next is procedure and policy. So man proposes and auditor disposes. So that happens. So please follow the procedure. Okay, it's very easy to follow the procedure. You have to just read it. And usually they are boring documents, and that's why people don't read them. But I read most of the uh, procurement <coughs> procedures, and they are quite logical documents, just that they are lengthy. Okay, and if you read them, sometimes you can in in the in the procurement process guide the guy who's sitting on the other side that this. This part of the procedure can be used. So I said, okay, please use chapter 15 because that is good for this kind of product and people are happy about it. So they are not wrong. Just that auditors also have to do their job, we have to do our job and everybody is, uh, is there for them. Clamor for favorable policy would lead to a delay. Please let us stop clamoring for favorable policy. In fact, in one meeting, sir, I was there with you. People were asking almost a change in the constitution. So <laughs> that that is never going to happen. Okay, so, so let's... Whatever policies are there today, they are good. And believe me, they are good. If you, uh, it's not a time here, but outside I can, I can read the documents to you what TDF has given. And policy can't defy the terms laws. I mean, that's also one more important thing. What has happened is there's so much of focus on policy. You go to any of this kind of conference, everybody's talking policy as if physics was not relevant. Okay. So, so please also understand that physics is relevant. If I were to be given one billion dollars, I can't take a missile which is five centimeter long and go to China, and that's not possible. <laughs> so, so policy is important, okay, and they are there in place. But physics is important. Let's talk about technology. So then, what to do? Because uh, every presentation has to end with a slide which says what to do. Okay. So let's not put any fresh energy in policy. Policy is done now. Okay. Uh, promote already existing policies. I am the first MSME to get a TDF project and uh, so they had a confidence in me. I never made a pump and I got a pump contract from them because I had all the basic technologies that are required to make a, a, a pump in Navy. And what is more heartening is that Navy every week is calling us that what is happening in the project, although it's a two year project. So it's very heartening because uh, when, when somebody really wants the product and customer is nice, they, if you ask them, sir, you want to go to ship, they say, okay, come tomorrow. So letter goes from Delhi to Mumbai, and we are in Mumbai next day. Letter goes from Delhi to Donawala, we are in Donawala next day. So it's very good. So when all stakeholders are together testing, etc., is not a problem. They said, I'm curling, it's in town, bro. So failure is permitted in TDF. They have written policy that if you fail, they will do an audit of whatever has been spent and that would be given to you and then thank you Tata bye bye. So but it's not desirable to fail, but it's allow. So then what can be done? A low hanging fruit is the 70 mm rocket. I wrote the first proposal, a fully technical proposal for this rocket, 25 pages long, with all milestones per week or per month of how it can be done 100% in the country. Hey, rockets are simple. I am I'm thinking about making a course correction fuse for artillery gun, which would be much, much more complex. This is a simple technology for me. I have been associated with Pinaka for some 13 years now. Done everything what is to be there in rockets. You ask me and in sleep, I can tell you what a rocket can do. So, this can be done. Now, since 25 June 2016, when I wrote the first document, it was a very elaborate document. It's so much of time and you have not done anything. So, uh, probably, and how much money it would cost to make 100 rockets, full design testing, etc., only 6.6 .6 crores, which is below the limit of the year. So, probably, let's take a decision, let's put it there. There is a procedure already available. There are people available who can do it. Let's do it. I mean, let's not think more about a new make to make 10 or somebody may say make 3. Let's not do that. Existing policy is there. Let's do it. So, what is important? The number one priority in our country is corruption alleviation. And this is a big problem. Because when nothing is happening, then how can corruption happen? Okay. <laughs> so, what we should look at is that, okay, I have done 200 projects in defense, and I tell you, in 198, there was 
absolutely clean. In one, I got confused that there is corruption, there was none. It was just a misnomer. Bhumanika Mal Kelly and then I was from IIT at that time. So I gave him DVDs of some movies and he was happy. So, my mistake. And in one, uh, a very lowly person said, Kuch milega tha, and he said, Diary or pen milega and that was over. So, 99% cases were corruption. So let's not worry too much about that. Let's worry about time. That should be number